I've converted to Specs Plus, Rockaby Road, Subiaco. Um, got to wear glasses from now on. So, look, it's been a big few weeks. Um, things escalated pretty quickly um, a couple of weeks ago, but we're stronger for it. Um, the resilience that you know we're all showing at the moment is so important, and I, I can't help but think about our members and what they've endured in the last couple of years. They've been on the ride with us. Um, thank you to all those guys that are live streaming at the moment that have turned up. Um, we want to bring you on the journey with us going forward, uh, bring you into the inner sanctum, open our doors a little bit more, um, get you to embrace what we're going through, because what we're going through at the moment, believe it or not, is exciting. Um, it's, it's one of a positive nature. It's just, it's just going to be hard. So our members are so important, over 100,000 again. Um, our Waffle um, Eagles and our women's team playing tomorrow. Um, everything's in a, a positive direction, but there's some hard yards coming up. So appreciate those members, the, the extended family in the room. So the Coterie group, the supporters, the patrons in the room. I felt like about six weeks ago, Something changed in, in our community, this football community, this, this, this room, where, yeah, the criticism's real and we need to accept some of that. But I, I did get the sense that you had our backs and I don't know if you guys know how important that was to the footy club. And I'm not just talking on behalf of me or the footy department, but the whole club felt the sense of unity and support. So for that, we appreciate that on behalf of the club. But the footy club... Um, the board, NIS, uh, executives, our footy department led by Gavin Bell, uh, we've, we've taken some knocks. Yeah, it's been, it's been a challenge, but we're up for it. It's, it's, it's been disappointing on occasions this year, but we, we are up for the challenge. We, we've still got that resolve to push forward. But it's been a challenge. Um, our Waffle Eagles, Rob, who's leaving us... Uh, after a couple of years, of, he's probably done it harder than the senior boys, to be honest, <laughs> Rob. You've brought tremendous spirit to our, our younger players. Um, the Waffle Eagles, I think the trademark player was Jacko Nelson, uh, was announced just uh, before, so congratulations, Jacko. Round of applause for our captain of the Waffle Eagles. Um, you know, Rob, um, thank you for everything you've done for us and for me personally. You've, you've had my back, mate, so I've really appreciated that. Um, to my wife and kids, the most unsupportive family in the AFL. Um, you've given me nothing again uh, for the 10th year in a row. I, I think Nicky's here. Um, no, in all honesty, I think you've kept a few things from me and um, not that I needed it, but you know, we're pretty normal. We're as normal as you can get as a family and um, thank you for everything you've done for me, Nick. Um, it's gonna get uh, more interesting, unfortunately. Um, you're gonna be hanging around a little bit longer, I hope. Um, our departing uh, players and staff, so we lose a few uh, of our staff that have been here a long time. Uh, Doc Alex, um, 13 years you've been here. Uh, thanks for not giving me a horse tranquilizer after the Sydney game, which I asked for, and the Carlton game, and the Fremantle game, <laughs> and the Adelaide game. <laughs> um, but mate, you've done um, so much for our club. You've had a, a really busy couple of years um, and wish you all the best in the future. Um, Daniel Pratt. Pratty came over with me um, in 2013. He's an ex-teammate of mine from, from the Kangaroos days. Um, he's coached the women's side. He's coached our waffle side. He's the premiership coach of our back line. Um, he's done the stoppages. Uh, he spent 10 years here, and he's the most loyal person I've ever met. And we wish you all the best with your future, mate. Um, somehow you've kept Rachel. I don't know how you've done that. That's the biggest achievement you've done in the last 10 years. Um, two beautiful children, and I wish you all the best, mate, uh, going forward in your future career. And the last one um, is Warren Coford, who he's been our strength and conditioning coach for 15 years. Uh, we would not have won the premiership without him in 18. We wouldn't have um, competed in the grand final in 15 without him. Uh, I'm indebted to you, uh, Cof, for what you've done for me when I got here and what you've done for our footy club, and I wish you all the best as well. So. Round of applause for those departing staff, if that's okay. Um, Nick, Bung and Boots, you're gonna get a, a fair bit of attention tonight, I would have thought, so I'll keep this brief. Um, I wish you all the best in your future. I, I love you guys uh, for what you've done for our footy club. You deserve everything you get and more. 
um, and I look forward to seeing the second phase of your life. So good luck to you guys going forward. Um, our trademark award was voted on throughout the year for um, actions based on our trademark, uh, voted by the players, and um, it was just announced about half an hour ago that Liam Duggan is our winner this year for our trademark award. So well done, Duggo. Uh, to our players, I spoke briefly, I spoke about half an hour ago to our players um, about a couple of things. One of them is dealing with pressure um, and our industry is just, it's, it's volatile. And where we're at at the moment, there's been a lot of pressure put on our club, our individuals, our staff, but in particular our players. And we, 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 you don't get greatness without dealing with pressure. So they've learnt so much this year and last year about how to be resilient and stick tight and stay together with our unity. And as much as it's been difficult, it's going to pay us back. Um, the spirit side of things, I'm seeing really positive things with our group. Uh, our younger guys are really important, absolutely. And the talent we've brought in the last couple of years, I think, have got it. Um, but the cultural part, it's as strong as I've seen it for a while. And I think we've just clicked over a gear, especially off field. You've seen it a little bit on field. I saw it at the Bulldogs game. You saw it parts on Adelaide uh, on the weekend. I'm really confident that this group, along with our leaders who are so important, can take us another step next year and then next year and then we're on our way. So I'm really positive about what we're doing. Um, the most important thing our players can do now though is action. Uh, no one wants to succeed more in this room than our players. And the beauty is they've got the responsibility to do something about it. So over to you guys to get, have a good break, um, enjoy yourselves to a certain degree come back ready to go. Last year we came back fit and um, not many people know, but the guys had a massive crack with our fitness last year. We came back really fit. That was phase one. Uh, our next phase is to be footy fit and footy ready. I can't wait to see what they look like when they come back. Um, I'm really energised about the future. I think we've got to get on the positives. Um, it's as hard as it is. The resilience is so important and our club is built off resilience. I'm looking forward to seeing what they can do next year and, and beyond. Good luck uh, to the players tonight with all the awards that come their way and thanks for your support. Have a good night.